Hey y'all, this is Tara Card Bay and I'm here with a reading for the collective. We are going to look at your ex. This is the case of the ex reading. Um, as you know, this is a new channel, so I'm just coming up with fun readings to do, interesting readings. I hope you get a message. If it's just like a bad situation, I hope that it's not for you. But uh, it's a Friday night, so we want to see what's going on with the ex. Give me a message for the collective. What's going on with their ex? Ooh. Judgment. So your ex is making a decision. And we got two cards that came out. The Five of Cups. Don't we all want to see our ex like this? <laughs> um, Five of Cups. So, of course... Um, this is the person looking at the three cups that are spilled and not looking at what is behind them. So, the, of course, this can signify depression, sadness, regret. And we also have the six of pentacles. So, just from these cards, it just, it comes off as your ex. Your ex is in the blues about a decision that was already made. Kind of seems like your ex decided to gift somewhere else. Um, either your ex decided to give to another person because, of course, in the Six of Pentacles, uh, the person is holding the scales of balance above someone's head and then giving coins to another so it seems like your ex was having you wait while he gave to another a lot of times when I do readings lately I feel like something with my throat or hiccups I don't know what that is um four of cups rejection Another card for the X for the collective. Oh, this was a mess, honey. Eight of Wands. So it seems like we have some communication coming. And another card for the collective's X. And we got the Two of Wands. So collective, I would expect a message from your ex. Your ex is greatly regretting rejecting you in the past. Um, it appears that they rejected you to keep their options open. Um, And they kind of had some lustful desires that made them make this decision. Even though this is the Ace of Wands, I'm just seeing it as a very phallic card um, in this reading. It's also passion, but this passion is what led them to pursue other options. So the options weren't really of the heart. They were more of the body. Lustfulness. Give me another card for the collective's X. One more card for the collective X. Let's see. One more card for the collective's X. One more card for the collective's X. And the chariot. So your ex is thinking about movement towards you. The chariot was on top of the two of wands. Of course, two of wands is typically someone waiting for their ships to come in. Um, I 
believe that your ex has been in a waiting phase as far as when is the best time to reach out to you. Um, of course, they don't want to be rejected. So even though they rejected you, they fear that you're going to reject them based on what they did in the past. I felt like it took a while for that story to get together, so I'm sorry, y'all. But I didn't want to just make up bullshit. I wanted to give you what I was actually giving. Give me a card for how the ex feels about my collective. How does the ex feel about my collective? Give me a card for the ex and how they feel. Speak of the ex, text just came through, boy, Lord. So uh, your ex feeling is the hermit in reverse. So again, they want to come out of waiting and um, analysis. Um, analysis? Yeah, <laughs> analysis. Um, and they're ready to take action. How does... But then there's still some confliction with them. Honestly, I really feel like they're juggling as to when to reach out. They're not juggling in regards to if they should. It's it's kind of a matter of when. So a part of them, they have this passion. They want to rush towards you. They want to come out of this hermit mode. But they don't know when the best time is going to be. Um, so they are just taking their time. They are taking their time. Let's see. Don't take too long, Okay. Don't leave me for later. I won't be there, all right? <clears throat> Another card for how your ex feels. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This seems like a very confused person. And something else that kind of concerns me is there's really not a lot of cups up here outside of the Seven of Cups. Like, So, the well, we got passion. The Page of Wands. And we also have the Page of Swords. So this person could very likely be watching you. And again, uh, with the Page of Wands, they're ready to send some passionate communication. Maybe because they're watching, waiting, lurking in the back. Exes are weird. And I got the Fool and Temperance. So they are ready to heal things with you and take a new start how does the collective feel about the ex the queen of cups and the page of pentacles about how you feel about your ex oh goodness what was the obstacle between all of the cards wanted to come out we're not doing that though Sorry, spirit. What was the obstacle? What was the obstacle between the collective and their ex outside of the seven of cups? So as the obstacle, we have the emperor and the nine of pentacles. So not only does your ex like to be in control he really likes to be a, a thorns he or she i'm sorry like to be a lord authoritative figure they also wanted to be single so they wanted to kind of control you but also act single ain't nobody got time for that come on man we old make up your damn mind i see my uh my analytics i see that who watches me is like 25 and up we don't got time to be playing these games Two of Cups. That was in the way. That's the obstacle? How is the Two of Cups the obstacle? Now, what's going on? So this person is conflicted. And with all these pinnacles, you guys could definitely be dealing with the Earth sign, specifically because, of course, the Knight of Pinnacles came out. We had Temperance, which could be Sagittarius. We got Page of Wands. It could be a fire sign. Another obstacle between you guys uh, getting together or making things work is 
the world. So you guys were caught into some type of cycle. I'm not sure if it was toxic, but it just seems like there's a lot of back and forth. There's a lot of conflicted energy. <laughs> there's a lot of I want to be with you, but I want to be single, but you can't do this. But, you know, I want to be with you today and maybe I don't want to talk, but now I want to reach out. We don't have time. The collective doesn't have time. OK, you're blocking our blessings for somebody else. So you had to be released. What is the ex's future action towards the collective? Queen of Swords is the future action. Hmm. How is that? Give me another card for the future action. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Five of Pentacles. So they they may decide to just stay away. Um, and it, it, you know, as far as staying away, I do have the star and I think this represents, not only does it represent healing, but for me, it's also representing distance. So I think they're going to distance themselves from this situation, stay out in the cold as far as stay away from you um, and do some healing. But I think it's because they know that they're not ready. You know, all of this conflicted energy shows that, you know, they're not going to be an asset to you and they may cause some type of anxiety. What's the advice for the collective? And the three of um, swords just tried to come out. So just to let you know. Advice. Ten of swords. So uh, spirit is saying you may want to in this and not only would you want to end this with a ten of swords but i also feel like it's telling you to take your cup somewhere else and i say this because after this ending I feel like this knight of cups is moving away from this ending so take your cup to somewhere that deserves it. You know, some place that you can not only pledge your allegiance to another person, but they can pledge their allegiance to you. Now let's pull some oracle cards. I think everybody's an ex for a reason, right? It doesn't sound good. I like some of my exes still. I mean, of course, that's why we were with them, right? But that doesn't mean that they're in your life forever. Your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. So this is definitely clarifying you needing to, or maybe the path of moving away from this person um, may be beneficial for you. So I'm trying not to tell people what to do, but I'm just saying you do have options. You have options, sweetie. Another card. You will meet your soulmate when the time is right. So that's always good. Kind of reflects taking that cup somewhere else because it's not being appreciated. I feel like if somebody's confused about you, then that's enough. You don't want to invest in a place that, you know, the other person is confused and they're not ready. And lastly, I have found the one that my soul loves. I love this one. This is one of my favorite cards. I love black and white as well. But anyway, I feel like this is your goal, collective. You're you're ready. You know, and I think walking away from this situation, really trying your best to emotionally detach, of course, is going to open up that door for new love to come to you, new friendship, new experiences. Exes are ex for a reason. Of course, people can get back together and... You know, I would love for that to happen with people who really love their ex, but sometimes things are a lesson um, and most things are a, le a lesson about self-love. You know, you don't need to stay somewhere that a person's confused about you. So this is what your ex is doing. This is what's going on with their, um, with them, what their thoughts are. They're still kind of conflicted, but that doesn't mean you wait. You keep moving. 
Don't let them save you for later. And you go and find love somewhere else if that's what you want to do. All right, collective. Have a good weekend and holla at your girl.